This video will show a calculation of work on a pressure volume diagram where the system is an ideal gas, uh, 2.3 moles, starts at a temperature of 240 degrees Celsius and a volume of 0.5 cubic meters. It's going to be compressed at constant pressure, constant pressure, that's isobaric, down to a volume of 0.2 cubic meters. Then the system will have a constant volume, isochoric, or some call it uh, isovolumetric, uh, increase in pressure, but volume is constant, uh, until the temperature is 240 degrees Celsius. So we're back to the original temperature, but the volume is less and the pressure is greater. And then uh, the last process is going to be from the small volume, an isothermal expansion back to the larger volume of 0.5 cubic meters. So isothermal, the uh, temperature will be constant on this third path. We want to find the uh, work for each step and the network for the, uh, the three paths together. So I start on the left, I'll make a sketch of uh, the pressure volume diagram just to uh, keep things organized and enhance the concept of understanding the, the problem and the calculations. So we're starting at point A, we're going at constant pressure back to point B, and then constant volume up to point C, and then the isotherm back to point A. So on the left, the pressure scale here is 10 to the fourth pascals, uh, so five uh, at that top mark and down to two. On the uh, volume axis, the bottom axis is volume cubic meters. And in working with the ideal gas, we can make a use of the ideal gas law. Pressure times volume equals NRT, number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature. That temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So one first step is to change the Celsius temperature to Kelvin by adding 273. Then we come up with 513 Kelvin. Then we can calculate the pressure at the uh, uh, point A, the pressure at point A. So we do that using NRT and dividing by volume. So 2.3 moles for N, 8.314 for the gas constant, 513 Kelvin for the temperature, and then divide by the volume of 0.5 cubic meters. You should pause and do this calculation yourself. I came up with 1.962 times 10 to the fourth pascals. So at point B, we can get some information about point B and the temperature, but again, using the ideal gas law. Now solving for the temperature. To solve for the temperature, we have to take pressure times volume and then divide by N and R. So we're using this ideal gas law, we're keeping T but we're dividing both sides by N and R. So we have the pressure that is just found. We have the new volume. We, to get the temperature at point B, we have to use the volume at point B, 0.2 cubic meters, and then dividing by the number of moles and divide by the gas constant. I came up with a temperature of 205 Kelvin. Um, to convert to Celsius, you have to subtract 273 if you're starting with the Kelvin temperature, and I get a minus 67.8 degrees Celsius. This is a reasonable number in regards to the fact that at the corner, at more towards the origin of the PV diagram, the temperature is lower. So at point A we have a temperature, point B is closer to this corner, so we should have a lower temperature, and we do, 205 Kelvin. So at point C, we could calculate the pressure, again using the ideal gas law. So the pressure is number of moles times the uh, gas constant, R, 8.314, times the temperature. Where is this temperature? It's the temperature at point B. It's the five, back to the 513 Kelvin. All along this isotherm, we're at 513 Kelvin. So point A has that temperature, point B has that temperature. And then we divide by the pressure at point C. I came up with four point, I need to uh, adjust my paper here just a little bit. 4.905 times 10 to the fourth Pascals. Now, 
we have some basic numbers uh, for understanding the process. And again, it's reasonable this pressure is higher than the pressure at uh, uh, point A, which is the same as the pressure at point B. We're vertically up on our graph here, so we should have a higher pressure as we do. So work. On this isobaric path where the pressure is a constant, we can calculate work with pressure is the uh, work is the pressure times the change in volume. So we have work on path number one, the pressure, and the volume change is the final volume is 0.2, and then we subtract the initial volume, 0.5, and I came up with minus 5,886 joules. Why is it negative? <clears throat> the gas is being compressed. The gas is not expanding and doing work. Instead, work was done on the gas, so that's a negative number. On path two, the volume is not changing. Whenever the volume is constant, there's no motion. The work is zero. It's kind of like the uh, formula for work you might have encountered. Work is force times distance. There's no motion here. There's no distance, so the work is zero. On the isotherm, we calculate work with this formula, NRT, natural log of final volume divided by initial volume. We have all the numbers, so we insert those. 2.3 moles, 8.314 for the gas constant, 513 Kelvin, and log of 0.5 divided by 0.2. So on my calculator, I do 0.5 divided by 0.2, I get a number. I activate the log function to get that result, and then multiply by the other factors. And I came up with a positive 8,989 joules. The net work then is uh, 3,103 joules. I have a positive work on the isotherm and 8,989. A negative work on path one, the isobaric compression from point A to point B. And the net of those is uh, a little over 3,000 joules. How could I check to see if this might be correct? Well, one way that we could check would be to make a triangle. To make a triangle, and I'm going to kind of on the fly sketch in this uh, this triangle. This is not going to be a very good straight line, but uh, here's a straight line from C down to A, and we're going to be calculating the area here. The area enclosed on the PV diagram is the work done. Now this area we're going to calculate is bigger than the actual work, but it's just kind of a rough check. So in doing the triangle, one half base times height, <clears throat> one half, the base is 0.3 cubic meters. That's how much the volume changed. And the height is the top pressure minus the pressure at point B. So you get that change, use your calculator, you get 4,000. 400 joules. <clears throat> this is reasonable that it's bigger than the 3,000. Again, there's an extra portion inside the triangle that's not inside the actual path of the system. But this is just a uh, kind of double check. <clears throat> so there we have it, some paths on the pressure volume diagram, calculation of work. Other physics and astronomy videos are at these sites, free, no registration. <clears throat> you can see a list of the videos, a little description of them. And if you like uh, these videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube.